So can you explain, can you explain, just sort of elaborate on what you mean by cellular composition? Um, well, okay. So let me just tell you where I, the, it's important to say where, I, where this came from for me. Uh, mm -hmm. So later on, of course, I know I found out that, uh, uh, people like Schoenberg and, and, and classical composers and composers going way back to when people first started being like composers started uh, writing music based on, let's say, let's call it motivic development. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so for me, I went to the Banff Jazz Workshop um, when I was in college and Muhal Richard Abrams was there. Mm. And he did this great lecture. He drew this dot on the board. And for a long time, it was extremely uncomfortable because he just asked people, what is that? And he went through, like, every person in the room had to answer what that was. So what he was getting to was that it was, that it could, that could be anything. It could be a dot. It could be a circle. It could be a note head. You know, it could be a bunch of different things. So it, it, in effect, it could be anything. And it could be the beginning of your piece. And that you could start a piece with anything. And as long as you have that one thing, once you take, have that one thing, then you can take that one thing and develop that one thing. So, you know, take it like, you know, I use like a, usually, I hope this won't fall down, but I usually use like, you know, this, this is the one thing, then you do this to it and you do this to it and you, you take it apart, you know, you, you do these different processes, which we have, you know, uh, names for, but the names aren't important. Mm -hmm. um, and through that, though, you, you create all this other material. You're finding out what that thing is, kind of like almost like experimenting on it and finding out what it is, which can help you kind of decide what you're going to do with it. But you're also getting all this new material, which is actually the same material, but just sounds different. Okay. And so if you, if you build this body of, of material based on this one thing, a family of material, and it's, it's then not so difficult to put that material together. Because mm. actually it's the same material. So it, it usually kind of goes together well. Sure. And then the idea, uh, if you try this, in my case, I tried it. I really enjoyed the process. But then also, I really enjoyed the sound of 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 what uh, of a organic, what I would call organic sounding piece. Um, in that there could be lots of different things happening in the piece, but when the piece is over, there's also this this feeling of a singular gesture. You know, mm. I took this and took this and then blah, 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 all this stuff, and I put it right here, and here it is for you. 10 minutes later, you know? Um, so I really love that, uh, everything about that. Sure. So I wouldn't say I write uh, in this cellular way 100% of the time. And because sometimes, obviously, like anyone else, I just sit down and a tune just pops out, of course, when yeah. I'm lucky that happens once in a while. But, but normally it doesn't happen. And, um, and I really enjoy this process. So, um, well, first I'll just say the, the other person who really um, talked about this was Bob Brookmeyer. Mm -hmm. In a slightly different way, what he was doing when I met him was he was, he was saying like, okay, you, you just need like four pitches. If you, you just start with four pitches and then from there you should be able to write a whole piece. So it was kind of like the same thing. He was really kind of saying almost the same thing, but you know, his, his own way. Um, but the, if you take that idea, you can also use that idea in arranging. So I'd say, you know, a lot of times what I'm looking for when I, when I'm dealing with a new piece, is I'm looking for the cell. You know, what okay. is the heart? What is the heart of this piece? What am I going to use the most? And most mm -hmm. of the time, because in this, in this trilogy of projects, it was with vocalists. So in the idea was that, you know, people would be able to hear the, the original <laughs> sometimes, <Sure. laughs> maybe not, but <laughs> at least most of the time they could hear the original. Yeah. And, um, 
So, so therefore, you know, immediately, pretty quickly, I was like, you know, what are the things that they are going to need? Well, they don't really need the original beat. They don't really need the original key, the original chords. They need the melody. They just, they need the melody and, and, and the words. So, so the, those kind of automatically became the cells of the piece. And mm-hmm. a lot of the new material that I came up with was, came from the melody, mm. from, from the processing and development of the melody into other things that are actually not different, but sound different, mm. but also work well with the original. Sure. That approach also sounds like a way of uh, avoiding maybe under certain circumstances it wouldn't work if you've got the song and you've got the melody and you've got the lyrics and what have you. But like if you're writing a piece, you don't have that that idea that you just came up with doesn't have to be the uh, the baseline or it doesn't have to be the melody or it doesn't have to be the harmony. Like uh, the idea of taking those ideas and just playing with it and just creating a ton of material. Uh, I know that's another thing that Bob Brookmeyer would talk about. It's just creating, just putting notes on a page and just creating music. Uh, but then if you're just thinking about the notes as themselves or the melodies as themselves, you don't then have to put it into a category as being this is the harmony and this is the bass line and this is the melody. But we're so, st- I mean, it's so easy, especially I want to, s- it's true of any style of music. You come from a world where you you learn the tradition or you learn just the, uh, let's say, tendencies of the music or the tendencies of the people who write it. And then you say, okay, well, I'm going to write a rock song. So it's going to be verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, 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 or whatever, you know, bridge, something. And then you get lost in these ways of writing. And certainly in jazz world, we could write 100 million AABA 32 bar forms. But it's a fascinating thing really to think about, all right, I'm not going to label this a bass line or a melody. I'm just going to use this material and see what happens to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does seem like a really freeing approach to writing. And it it seems to me to shed a lot of light on what, what you're doing or how these pieces come about. Yeah, that is that's the that's the key for me is to you know to try to find a cell, develop it, uh, and 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 play with it as long as I can. That's also gets back to the deadline. You play with it as long as you possibly can until you have to make a decision. Or also like in the playing aspect, a lot of times things come like oh, I I can already hear that that would be good that way. I don't say like. I'm definitely gonna do that, but you know, I make a note of it, mm-hmm. um, and uh, and then you know, kind of letting it come together. This is something I think, you know, you'll hear Maria Schneider talk about too. You know, about not right, not not uh, one reason why people don't use computers. You know, is that so you don't have to think about a meter or a key or a, even a tempo or an instrument. Certain, mm-hmm. you know, when you put stuff in the computer. It, automatically you you just have to make some choices that might not be good choices but you have to make a choice you know sure. mm-hmm. um so it's kind of you know nice to keep things in this you know what i call in the worksheet phase so like i just have big pieces of paper and i'm just it's just a worksheet it's a play sheet playing with the material on paper and then you know circling things and 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 trying to be uh, sensitive to if the piece is telling me what it wants to be sure. as opposed to me like imposing what I want the piece to be. Mm-hmm. 